this is the Born Ultimatum. And why are they calling it still the Born? Because his name's not Born anymore. His name is Webb. It's the Webb Ultimatum or the Dave Ultimatum. No, the Webb. The Webb. Because that's his last name. That's what they did with the first two. I saw what they did there. Also, oh, also, also, <laughs> I thought this was the last one. Turns out it's just the third one and there are possibly two more. The fourth one with a different actor, which I'm not too happy about. Really, I just wanted to watch this one to, you know, <laughs> finish it off. <laughs> and then that's not what's going to happen today. Or maybe yes, if you guys say that I don't have to watch the last two. But it, it doesn't really matter because sometimes you tell me not to watch things and I still watch them. So there you go. So we started with Identity and it was, it was fine. It wasn't great. It was, um, for me, a girl, very confusing. And then we watched Supremacy, which was great. And it nicely rounded everything off. Apart from the car chase that I wasn't such a fan of, but that's okay. That it's fine. I, I can deal with the car chase. Just let's just hope that if there is one in this movie, then it's not too long. So going by that, if I really much preferred the second one, maybe I'll really much prefer the third one. Maybe I'll really much prefer the fourth and fifth one. And more, if there's more. But but I <sighs> If it's not the same actor, it's not the same movie, I said it. So we know that the fat guy equals bad guy. We knew about that. We know that my prediction from the last movie is that this Yuri guy is going to appear again and he is going to be the second main guy because David Webb is the main main guy. Oh, his girlfriend's dead. I forgot she died. He's going to go back to Missouri and he's going to find a Missouri girlfriend. Yes. You will be proud of me because I had to Google where Missouri was and I it was where I thought it was. I also did not have to check how to spell it. I spelled it correctly the very first time. I'm proud of myself. Wait, let's do our big fat shout outs to our top tier patrons who are Silent Wolf 62, Nathan Wolf, Robert McGregor, Adam Anthes, Brian Menendorp, Kyle Kojak, Len Anaquad, Wayne Kreiker, Robert Emmons, Les McAllister, Rob Jones, Ragnar Mersh, Alonzo Torres, Bill Bryant, Chase Bauer, A Thousandth Ghost, Roger Freeman, Lee Pittman, and Eric Bonham. So from my prediction, we know exactly what's going to happen in this movie. So let's watch it. We're ready to watch, knowing knowing exactly what we know is going to happen at, that we know. If you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Check out Patreon, do all the good stuff to make the channel grow and I will love you forever. And I forgot what this movie was called. Born, the, the Born Ultimatum. Born, born, it's born. The Born Ultimatum and play. Oh, poops. I, I don't remember. Is this exactly straight after the last one? I don't remember how it ended. I, also, I think he's injured. Did he get shot? Or did someone knife him? Boy, looks like he already died like two days ago. Also, who's, who's going to give... It's going to be him. He's given the ultimatum. Nobody else. Will you commit to this program? He did not commit. That's why all of this started. <laughs> Who is she? Marie Croyd. She was killed in India. Director of Operations Ward Abbott arranged it. I thought they were trying to kill him and it was an accident. Tapes Abbott's confession and Abbott commits suicide. Now Bourne's gunning for us. You couldn't make this stuff up. <laughs> well, you could. That's why I'm watching it in a movie. The reason Bourne went to Moscow was to see the daughter of his first target. What's your point then? V oh, yes. I remember now. Are you telling me he's not a threat to this agency? I think if he wanted to hurt us, he could have sent the tape to CNN. You need to have a really long sit-down conversation with him. Hash it all out. Couple of beers. I'm concerned Bourne is still a serious threat until proven otherwise. Did anything happen with the girl? He told he told her that he killed his parents because it was they thought the mom killed the dad. But what did the girl do again? What did she say? Why don't I remember? She's been shot in the head. What connects the dots? Oh, that's a weird camera angle. Turn off the tape recorder. Oh. Oh. 
but you're not gonna let us here? That's rude. Where's my sister? <laughs> Where you tell him? He's gonna be mad. She's dead. She was killed. He doesn't seem that surprised. It was always gonna end this way. I didn't believe that. I think you did a little bit. You knew in the very far back of your mind that it was what was going to happen. And in your gut. And how did you die? Don't tell him. Sugarcoat it. She was shot. <laughs> and now what? He's going to end it. Someone started all of this. And I'm going to find them. Yeah. He's going to give him an ultimatum. And he's going to say, guys, quit it. Stop all this right now. Or else. In a, in a meaner, manlier way. Bond's just the tip of the iceberg. Have you heard of Operation Blackfriar? No. Wait, maybe I did in the last movie, but I don't remember. I need to write that down. Blackfriar. Like a chip fryer or a fryer tuck fryer. Sir. It's Briar, not Fryer. Have you heard of Operation Blackfriar? You have details. I'm gonna get my head around this and type it up. I'll see you first thing. Where did you get that recording from? On all his phones, his Blackberry, sure bank accounts, credit cards, travel patterns. I wanna know what he's gonna think before he does. I was thinking about this the other day. I really hope that at some point in my life, nobody needs to go looking into all my stuff. <laughs> because they're, they're gonna be in stitches at what they see when they go see my bank account. <laughs> They'll see me moving like a penny from one one account to the other. <laughs> and I always do funny references. Office line, we're uh, working on his cell. Call for you. Who is it? I'll give his name. The phone's going to explode and blow your head off. Why are you not scared? I've been reading your stories. Who is this? This is Jason Bourne. Wait, remember, that's not your name anymore. You have to use your real name. Can every phone line be tapped? I have a story I'll tell you at the end. He's so sneaky and I love it. Hello? Jimmy, I need that phone. Wait, did nobody see? Did nobody see that? Directly across the street, 12 noon. There's a man in the second story, static post, he's watching. <laughs> Everyone's watching you. That's not his phone, sir. What do you mean it's not his phone? Where the hell did he get so another carefully. phone? Well, exactly. You tell me. How did you not see that? Okay, who's the guy in the blue hood? Is that his contact? They're going to go arrest the boy with the, the blue hoodie on. We lost Craft the team B, intercept the contact and stay with Ross. Okay. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> What the hell was that? What do you think? Well, I can't tell you that. You have no idea what you're into here. These people will kill you if they have to. Not even if they have to, they'll just kill you. My source told me it all started with you. Said that you were square one, the dirty little secret. All right, we have to move. Yeah, and fast. And also find the other guy, your source. Oh no, he'll be dead by now, actually. So then the reporter guy's gonna have to tell you everything that he knows, fill in the blanks. And you two are just gonna have to stick together throughout the whole movie. Tie your shoe, tie your shoe right now. Tie your shoe. <laughs> this is amazing. Three, two, one, stand up. That's it. Wow. He's good. Oh god, Stay he's got a gun. He's got a gun. Stay on the line, you're he's got on. a gun. Do not deviate. He panicked. He thought it was a way to be shot. Crowd, move through this crowd. Get undercover right now. Move through this crowd. <laughs> I'm a bit, I'm a little bit dizzy. He just stabbed him. Head into the liquor store in front of you. Go into the back and lock the door. He's like the best of the best. He knows everything. Get me a feed in there. I like how does he know inside all the shops? <gasps> He's better at predicting what's going to happen than I am. I am so freaking dizzy. The cameraman's like this. <laughs> He's like, I keep it still. 
Jesus Christ. Yes. Well, he has That's nothing Jason to do with Bourne. it, but. <laughs> Stupid whip. Kill the cameras. Wait, something's not right. If I go now, I can make it. They're killing the cameras so that there's no evidence, but then also they can't see. <laughs> You should have done what he told you to do. Also, how did he shoot him that fast? Because he, he didn't, he, he didn't know he was behind that door, and he opened the door and then ran. So how did he manage to shoot him so quick when he had no idea that's where he was? I can't believe the reporter's dead. I told you they always die. If I didn't tell you, I meant to tell you. I said in my head. It. Reporters always die. They're playing about with very artistic camera um, shots in this one, aren't they? Mmm, look at that spread. Delicious. We were careless in Stockholm. So what was Waterloo? Just careless again? We had a leak. Wait, is that the same girl from the last movie? She doesn't look the same. You know as well as I do, decisions made in real time are never perfect. Don't second guess an operation from an armchair. Or you just shoot and then explain later. I'll see you at the office. Enjoy your egg whites. Oh, gads. Why do you not use the yolk as well? The yolk's the best bit. We were waiting. Waiting for what? Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? No, they don't. I want everyone to sit down, strap in, and turn on all you've got. That would mean no! I was about to say, you're not going to get that from this team. <laughs> they don't seem bothered. They're like, yeah, I'm not getting paid enough for this. So what, Bourne met Ross in Turin for breakfast, and then at noon the same day, Bourne calls Ross to demand a meet at Waterloo? If anyone can do that, it would be him. Yeah, look at all the people whose cell phones were switched off the entire period Ross was in Turin. Ooh! One person. Two persons. Three persons. Three names. Tom Brewster, Jack Bruin, and Neil Daniels. Okay, now it's Jack. It's Jack. Jack sounds like a name that would do shit like that. Right there. Initials. Hold on up. Bring that up on main. Oh, damn it. Neil Daniels. <laughs> well, I was almost right. Daniels isn't really. I'm worried about Horn. He is not the source, then he is after the source. The same as we are. Yeah, but that's not why you're going in heavy, is it? I don't believe you. You just want to kill everything before anyone else finds out. The safe is empty. Shit. Looks like he left in a hurry. Track Daniels' passports. Well, he's going to have a fake passport. Or he's already dead. Who are you shooting at? <laughs> Get a backup team in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long will that take? Hey, who was that? An old lady? It's her! I thought you was a little old lady. I don't remember your name, sorry. Hello? Who is this? Say, this is Nikki Parsons. Oh, say, 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 none of your business. You phoned me. Uh, Nikki, I need to do an ID challenge. Cody and Sparrow. An awful coincidence if she keep, keeps showing up all the time. Sparrow, like Captain Jack. We have two officers on site. Are you in contact with them? They left. Say they left. They're down. Unconscious, but alive. Hmm. He is going after Daniels. He wants revenge, Pam, and the only realistic way to end this is to eliminate the threat. You guys keep assuming that the best thing to do is just kill everyone. You would think after it happened so many times that you need to reevaluate. Consider keeping people alive. My car's outside. I know where Daniels is. She is. She's fine. Go with her. I trust her. I don't think I liked her in the first movie. I liked her in the second one, and then I think she's fine in this one too. I trust you. Issue a standing kill order on Jason Bourne effective immediately. Stop trying to kill everyone, especially Jason Bourne. He does not die. The man that can't be killed. Oh, wait, he maybe does get killed in this one. That's why it's a different actor that plays him in the next one. What's Operation Blackbriar? Do you want to tell me or should I call Kramer? Christ sake, Pam, we're in the middle of an operation. There's a whole lot of dodginess happening here. 
Operation Blackbriar started as an NEAT surveillance program. Experimental interrogation. Experimental interrogation? No more getting the bad guys caught on our sites than watching them escape while we wait for someone in Washington to issue the order. Ah, uh, it's actually a really good idea. When we find Daniels, and believe me, we'll find him. If you're right, we get born too. Why, why are you so confident? Because I don't think you should be. I don't think you're anywhere near finding him. He's in Tangier. But is he? They're holding up a bank transfer made to keep him in place while they bring an asset up in Casablanca. You're gonna take him out. Why is he using his real passport? Yeah. It's Pam Landy. She says it's urgent. Tell her I'm unavailable. Oh, if it's urgent, always take it. Give the asset subject location and the route between the subject's hotel and the bank. I used to have that phone. His location's being blocked by the firewall. No, they found Daniels. They know where he is. They'll get one of the operatives to terminate him. Find out who. Wait, you can't find his location, but you can find out who's going to... He's going to kill him. <laughs> well, that's silly. If you stop Desh, they'll just get someone else. No, we're not going to stop him. We're going to follow him. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Oh, you guys. Sometimes I think you're on the ball, and then other times, most times, I think you're very incompetent. You don't know what you're doing. Sir, the asset is deviating off course. Let it play. Maybe he needs to go for a poo. Sometimes you just can't hold it in. What? Wait a frickin' minute. Instructions were sent to the asset at 1411 local time. It came from a computer belonging to Nikki Parsons. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, what did she send? What instructions did she send? When we're finished with Daniel, send the asset after her. Yes, sir. We find Parsons, we find Bourne. No, not necessarily. Not now. I want to know what's going on. I said not now. This is just what he keeps doing. He just wants to kill everyone. Do not have the authority to kill her. He might have oh, had yes, a gun I to her do. head. And you had better get on board. He said he's got the authority to do whatever he wants. Start down this path. Where does it end? It ends when we've won. It ends when everyone's dead, obviously. But I think it'll end when he's dead. I think he knows he's a dead man because you can't, you can't tell big secrets and think you're going to be okay. Is that a bomb? So who died or did anyone die or everyone died or nobody died? Did Neil die? I can't see anything. Hold the camera still. She's like, what do I do if I just sit here and pretend like nothing's happened? Maybe they'll all go away. Oh, Caesar. So I guess Neil is dead then. I don't, oh, I'm so confused. How did the bomb work if he, it was born that stopped him? If he hadn't stopped him, he would have drove right past it. I swear these camera movements are making me feel so ill. Okay, I'm about three seconds away from switching this off. He's got such a mean look on his face. <laughs> it's like the Terminator. I'm finding this bit dragon. Not a fly, not like a dragon, a flying dragon. Like dragging. Hold the bloody camera still. <laughs> He's just sitting there. It's a random man running through my house, but I'm not getting up. This bit's more boring than the car chase. At this point, I don't care if she dies. <laughs> I don't mean to be. I don't mean to be mean, but it's taking too long. Okay, that was cool. 
I can't I can't even tell what's happening because the camera won't stay bloody still long enough to see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know who these two people are. It could be Homer Simpson and Winnie the Pooh for all I know. I hear a knife. There's a knife in there. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Wait. Although I knew that's what was going to happen, so... <laughs> was that hard work? You're a bit sweaty. Go to We need to be dead. Sir. Lies. Asset confirms both targets are down. It's all lies. Take my advice, man. If you don't see a dead body, then you don't... Then they're still alive. I can't afford to have this come back to me. Don't worry. You're protected. Wait, who are you? Remember why we put Landy there. Blackbriar goes south. We'll roll it up, hang it around her neck, and start over. What? Who are you? Are you the president? Is he the president of the United States? What? So... <laughs> what was the first thing called? Tread... Treadburn. Treadburn. Went tits up. And, and now Blackbriar is going to go tits up. And you're going to blame it on the woman that's involved. <laughs> and she didn't even want to be involved. You guys dragged her in on it. Treadstone. Stone. Stone. I can't remember. They're going to come for you again. You're going to have to run now. Could they not have stretched the budget for a bloody tripod in this movie? Demonstrated resistance, yes. And then they decided to discard him because he did not want to do what you told him to do. He said, nope. Ah, oh, this again. <laughs> oh, you look like his ex-girlfriend. They found a body. Born? Dish. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sucker! He's a tit. It's an early Treadstone identity registered to Jason Bourne. Bourne's alive. Of course he is. Why is that such a shock to you? Maybe he's trying to communicate with you. Then we should communicate back. I think I know what Bourne's looking for. I think he is trying to communicate with you because he. I think he trusts you a little bit. He remembers you from the second movie. Oh, I want one of them. How cool is that thing? It's like a single binocular. A single, singocular. <laughs> it's a monocular. It's a monocular, and it zooms in really far. I want one. David Webb. That's your real name. Yeah, he knows that already. Get some rest, man. You look tired. But you knew he saw you already. People, listen up. Hey. This is a national security emergency. Wait, he, they just repeated what was said in the last, they just, that's what was said in the last movie. Cause she told him, that's how he knew, cause she told him. So why did she tell him again? And then he just said the same thing again. What just happened there? Are not on land, he goes directly to Tudor City. Get the vehicles, we're going mobile. You're an ass. He doesn't think before he does. He does before he thinks, which is why he's gonna get himself killed. How does she not realise that she's surrounded? Negative. No sign of target. Or, or he just wanted to get them all in the same place and he's going to blow them all up. I was wondering when you were going to make this call. You didn't actually think I was coming to Tudor City, did you? Mm, yeah, he did, he did. <laughs> That's why he's there. <laughs> and now he feels so foolish. Talk to perhaps we can arrange a meet. Where are you now? I'm sitting in my office. You're lying. He's lying. If you were in your office right now, we'd be having this conversation face to face. <laughs> you are a dumbass. I want everyone back in the vehicles as a code 10 aboard. Let's go, let's go. So he did want you all in the same place to get you out of the way so that he could go snooping. My idea was a little bit better, so I would have blew you all up. Yeah. Wills, check my office. Requesting picture of my Oh, he's gone already. Damn. <laughs> it's bulletproof. Well, it should be. Boone just broke into CRI. He got into Boston safe. 
She just smiled. She's loving it. Oh, oh that's not too bad. I thought it was going to fall a lot further than that. Yes, sir, he drove oh, off the roof. What? He drove off the roof. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Wait. Steal that car. I knew it. Knew it. Well done. Bravo. So you can take instruction. Birthday was 4 15 71. Oh my god, it's a code. Everything stops. Are you guys just seeing this? Why did you not pick up on that ages ago? SRD is at 415 East 71st Street. She just gave him the training facility. Well, how did you not pick up on that already? In your line of work, you shouldn't be making mistakes like that. <laughs> Oh, here we go with the camera again. Bloody hell. What's the point in making a movie if you can't see half of it? <laughs> Whoa! I like that. Where is he? Is he okay? Of course he's okay. Why did I even ask? He's coming home. How long do I have? I don't know. Just get the hell out of there. No, I'm gonna stay. I don't think he knows everything yet. I'll keep him in play till you get there. I still don't know who he is. Is that a different guy from the last guy that he spoke to? Well, oh, that's the one from the picture. Why'd you do it? Because this isn't what I signed up for. What they did to you, Blackbriar. This isn't us. She has a conscience. It'll be better if we do this together. No, this is where it started for me. This is where it ends. He's going to finish it on his own. Wait, who's she sending it to? The regular police. Ha ha! <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be that loud. <laughs> we didn't pick you, you picked us. Even after you're warned. He sounds like the guy, the, the bear from Toy Story. He didn't even blink, Jason. He just handed me these. He was done. He needed a new life. New missions will save American lives. He said I'd be saving American lives. You were. By killing non-Americans. I'll be whoever you need me to be, sir. You cannot run what you did, Jason. You made yourself a new who you are. But did he know the full extent, though? This is the thing. Did you disclose everything? Who is he? We've been through that. What did he do? It doesn't matter. So he says no straight away. Like his first mission, but yeah. His first mission, he says no. Dead, he'd do anything it takes to save American lives. Yeah, I, can't, I get where they're coming from because they must have put a lot of time and effort into him and then for him to be like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. They must have been raging. Will you give yourself to this program? No. I will not. Goodbye. See you later. What? Who was it? You're no longer David Webb. Who was that? Who was he? Who did you kill? So now you're gonna kill me. No, because he doesn't like to kill. You don't deserve the star they give you on the wall at Langley. <laughs> Why is nothing bulletproof? Oh, I thought that was Eminem for a second. <laughs> he looks so much like him. Did he get you? I really hope he didn't get you. I don't think he should be the person to shoot you. Good morning, Senators. I'm seeing a lot of John Wick similarities. River, 10 stories below. However, after a three day search, Webb's body has yet to be found. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> and he's gonna come looking for you. So did he shoot you then? Or no? That doesn't even look like water. It looks too thick to be water. 
okay, I really was not feeling that movie as much as the second one. Maybe not even as much as the first one. Okay, maybe a little bit more than the first one. It was the camera. I cannot be the only one that was getting stressed out with the camera in this movie. Who did they think they were? The Blair Witch Project. That was not best movie ever. Um, for a few reasons. It felt very repetitive. And a lot of what was going on we've already seen and it was just the same again. I can't, I just, I can't get over, the other two movies weren't shot like that, were they? Because I, I never, I never noticed it, I never picked up on that. It was so, so very shaky, so fat, the fast movements, the, even like the fast zooms in and zooming out, the, everything was too fast and it was too much and they really needed to settle down with the camera. It was far too much. It was too much for my brain to cope with. And also, like, they had the way, it was almost like the cameraman was like, you know what, we, we really need to take it up a notch with this movie. We need to do the over the shoulder angles and the, 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 out of focus shots and the lots of movements and we need to make it look like we're running alongside them at all times and yeah I, I really was not feeling that at all it gave me a sore head so we didn't see the Yuri guy at all I was totally totally off with that <sighs> why, why did they not have him in it I just I really really no, I'm not, I'm not impressed with it. I'm not happy with it. I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> Did I like any of it? Yeah, there was little cool bits now and again. I kind of like that him and the Julia Stiles, is it Julia Stiles? What's, what was her name? Nikki? Nikki something? That I kind of like their relationship and that they touched on something that happened with them at the start. Why did we not see more into that? I feel like it was a very rushed movie, but at the same time, everything dragged. It was, it, what happened? Did they, did they have to release this movie because something else was going on? Like, <laughs> did they have an ultimatum? Did someone tell them you have to release this movie or else? And then they were like, shit, we better get a movie put together really quick. Um, that's what I feel like happened. We also weren't in Missouri, which I thought we, was going to be... It's Nothing happened that I wanted to happen. If I made the third movie, I would be sitting here saying best movie ever. I can promise you that. Do you know what was shown a lot in this movie and probably the last two movies as well, is that the whole... The whole... You ha there's no privacy. You can't do anything without everyone seeing or anyone seeing. Like, you, there's cameras everywhere and, and you can't have a conversation phone to phone without it being able to be hacked or texts or anything. Like, anything you do, someone somewhere can find it. And, it, oh yeah, I had a story to tell you. So years and years ago, I was like, I don't know, maybe 12. And I was on the phone to my best friend and we were both home alone and that's why we were on the phone together because we were like this is the first time we've been home alone let's just talk to each other and then if anything happens then we'll be fine and some a male voice came on the phone and was like hello and i, I think he said something else I, I can't remember what exactly he said but we were so freaked out that we were like oh my god we need to hang up the phone so we hung up the phone knowing that on both sides we were in the house alone so it couldn't have been someone else picking up another phone in the house. It must have been hacked somehow and he was listening to our conversation. And then when my um, parents got home, I told them and then my dad was like, yeah, that's like, that can happen. And I was like, what? what? How can that happen? That was like the first time I knew that these things like could be true. And, and like baby monitors and stuff. How often are they getting hacked and webcams and, and shit like that? It's pretty, pretty scary. Not pretty scary, it's it's freaking scary. It's bloody scary. Anyway, I think that's all I had to say about that movie because, um, do you know what it is? I've just watched a two hour long movie and I don't remember any of it because I couldn't see half of it, more than half of it. It was really frustrating. It's giving me sore eyes. Like the back of my eyes are sore and my head's sore. And I, I'd, I, imagine seeing that in cinema. It would be a hundred times worse. I just don't get it. I don't get why they did that. Please tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs>
And what do I do now? Do I watch the next ones or do I just leave it there? Is it time to give up now? Wait, I don't even know what the ultimatum was. What the hell was <laughs> This movie, this whole movie makes no sense. <laughs> I don't understand any of it. Did I even watch it? Where did it go? Did I even watch this movie? It's just, it's like went that, That's not the noise I should have made. I should have went that's it. I, my lips did something weird there. Okay, I, that's it. I'm off. I'm I'm gonna go because it, it's. I'm 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 kind of mad. I'm a little bit mad. If you're as frustrated as I am right now, then please like this video. Show show your frustrationness to, towards this movie by liking this video and subscribing and check out Patreon as well and do all the good stuff to make the channel grow. And I will love you for it. I will show you love from your frustration of this movie. And that's it, I'm off. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah.